Have you ever felt lost in the mist of light? Look beyond the mist and you will see a dim light. The closer you become, the heat will gain. Once an ember lands on your skin, you will be taken over by a feeling you cannot explain. I started experimenting through my friend's camera and I felt really proud of some of the shots that I took when I went out with her one day. And um, after editing them and uploading them to Instagram, I got some like really positive feedback on them. And then I got gifted my own camera for my 19th birthday and I've been taking photos ever since and it's just something that I really enjoy. When I was a kid, I grew up in a very turbulent household. I had a mother who was like an alcoholic at the time and I was living with her and my two sisters. School became a massive outlet and specifically at school, I was just really invested into English. So I had a love for creative writing at a young age in general. And then as I've grown older, it's just developed specifically into p poetry. A wildfire running through your heart. It has no beginning or no start. When I'm holding a camera, I just feel really happy and I feel content within myself that I have something that I am passionate about and that I look forward to and that's something that I enjoy doing. When the whole coronavirus started, I like, obviously we couldn't go out very much, so the only real way I could get out of the house was to go and take some photography. And because I was feeling really alone during the whole coronavirus, when I was holding a camera, it just made me feel like I had a freedom and an escapism that I could go and take photos and just change the world into what I want it to be and where I wish it was. And your eyes will reflect an amber glow and your mind will begin to overflow. My passion for poetry has always just been a massive escapism. Writing in general, but through writing poetry, which I've developed more recently. During the lockdown, I was in a room sharing with three kids, so it gave me a, like, a space that was more my own because I didn't have that. So I would go out and write it in like this weird farmer's field that was hidden amongst all these houses. And I would just sit there and write for like an hour. One specific thing is like, during high school, I had this one specific teacher who was really encouraging and she was my English teacher. And as I left school, she left me a note in my Leavers book, which was like really sentimental to me. She basically discusses my writing and that she thinks I'm gonna go on to do well and how much, how much she appreciated me as a student. But just the fact that she focused on my skills, it really made me think, oh, I'm like genuinely good at this and it really, really helped. Once you have this flame in your heart, even down the darkest paths, you will have a mobile home forever with you into the unknown. Well, having a passion is important because it can be used in the future as like a career and it can also just be a hobby. I think it's a massive thing of creative expression and how you want to see the world. Like the main reason I do it is because I like sharing how I see the world because I like to see it as a wondrous place when I write. It allows you to engage with other people who have the same interests and create new long lasting friendships and it can just be the cause of happiness when you find it hard to put a smile on your face like it, like it has for us, it's really helped us and I think it'll help the people who are watching as well. Because deep down you truly know that no matter where on earth you go, 
as long as you have that mysterious sense of belonging, you are truly home.